Hey guys, it's me Justin here. Welcome back to another LEGO Showcase video. So this showcase is for my LEGO Star Wars The Last Jedi minifigures. And I'm really excited to bring you guys this video because after all, I've been working on this for a few weeks now. And it's my biggest video yet, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, it's my first time ever making figures for the release of a movie. And it was definitely an interesting experience. And um, it had me worried throughout the process. There were actually supposed to be 10 minifigures, but Phasma sadly didn't make it. I couldn't chrome her properly in time, so I just decided that I would wait and do wave 2 later on. Which I actually had planned, but now Phasma will be in wave 2. Um, yeah, so, um, anyway, without further ado, let's get around into the uh, close-ups for all the figures. Alright, so starting off with Rey and her Jedi training outfit, I uh, start with the Lego minifigure here, and I'll uh, go over what I did with the minifigure, but obviously a lot of changes were made to the Lego figure. So starting off, I'll actually remove the lightsaber. I'll show you guys this first, and then I'll go on to the details and figure. Let's just remove that. Um, yeah, so the lightsaber here, if I can focus my camera, it's just the same one I gave to my resistance ray. Nothing too special. It resembles the Skywalker family lightsaber, and that's all that's important here. And yeah, so now focusing back on Ray. Uh, starting off with her head, the head and hair are just the Lego head and hair pieces. I did nothing to them. You know, it was Thinking about sculpting the front like what Aaron did, Lego Mac 9, but I didn't get around to it. And yeah, so now onto the torso and the arms. I'll start off with the arms. So for the arms, I used E tape to make her um, fabric uh, armbands. So I put those on, then painted those up. I painted the bit of the sleeves on the top there. And then on the left arm there, I have her gauntlet thing that she has in brown. Um, yeah, and then for the torso, I used fabric, and it wraps around the entire minifigure for the uh, top layer of her outfit, obviously, and then the underneath um, outfit, or the uh, outfit underneath is just a black, a pavement color with some glossy black lines there, and then I have her uh, skin showing at the top, and a bit of tan underneath the skin there, well, on top of the skin. And, uh, yeah, so now going on to the belt area, I used E-tape for all of that, and the belt wraps all the way around, um, and the belt was painted in dark brown, and then I have the tan bits right there, and then the fabric for the tunic continues down to right down there on her legs, and I have, uh, fabric for the outfit underneath, too. They say tunic, sorry, for her robes. Um, and yeah, there's a bit of a split there in the fabric, same with on the other side, and then for her legs, I just used brown for the boots, and then gray for the base. And uh, what else? Um, on the side here, this is the only bit of side detailing that I really put on the figure, was her little gun holster. I wanted to make it uh, functional, but sadly, it'd be really big if I was to make it functional, and thus not accurate to the minifigure. So I went with a uh, non-functional, but more accurate one. Yeah, so it's really it for Ray. Hope you guys enjoyed this figure. And uh, yeah, now on to the Alright, so that's it for Ray. I hope you guys enjoyed. Alright, that's it for Ray, and now on to the next figure. Alright, so next up here we got Luke Skywalker in his black outfit from The Last Jedi, and I'm just going to go ahead and remove the lightsaber. This is just a basic Lego lightsaber, nothing uh, special about it. And yeah, so I made the black outfit because I thought this would be the one that he wears more in the film, as opposed to the one that we see in the end of The Force Awakens that looks like it'll probably be in the movie for not so long. But, uh, yeah, anyway. So here we go. Um, this is a kind of simple figure. Most of it other than the hair piece and, uh, yeah, in the face. So, there's a 360. Let's go on to what I did here. So, uh, starting from the head, I started with the Lord of the Rings head. I don't remember. King Theoden, maybe, was who I used. And then I painted the eyebrows and, uh, painted, well, I sculpted a beard and then painted it, trying to make it look like how Luke's looks. And then I sculpted this hairpiece using an Anakin Skywalker hairpiece, and then I painted that up and made it look kind of old. And I hope that turned out fine. Um, and then for the cape, I just I sculpted the entire cape because I didn't know how to achieve this look with fabric. And then painted it up black. And then for the arms, they're just brown arms that are a little bit weathered. And he has this one skin hand, and then the other one's his uh, robotic hand. Uh, there's a layer of fabric here that is painted with a pavement color, then he has this belt thing there, and there's another layer of fabric right here, which is what, uh, it's a continuation of, like, fabric on his arms. 
I didn't actually uh, sculpt or well, use. But anyway, yeah, so layers of fabric there. Those boots are just black. Or black, they're brown, sorry. His pants are black, though. Just uh, try to fit him into the screen, I guess, again. Focus it a little bit more. I keep moving him forward when spinning this, which is a little bit of a problem. Anyway, so yeah, it's really it for him. Just uh, a lot of like fabric and uh, sculpting work. And uh, yeah, so now on to the next figure. Alright, so next up here we got General Leia Organa, and I uh, made her in this black outfit here. I'm not sure if this is the same. Uh, she has, it looks like two or three different outfits. And yeah, it's really hard to find a reference for this, but anyway, I hope I got this figure right. So starting off with the face, I took, I believe this was a Princess Leia face from a Hoth Lego set. And I just made her look a bit older there, painted up the lips and the wrinkles on the side and then her eyebrows. And then the hair piece is that same hair piece from that set, and I just made it look a little bit older. Gray and some brown there, or maybe tan, but... Yeah, and then on for the under the torso, um, paint up the skin there and the black line that we have there. Just make it look, you know, obviously the crease in the fabric or the separation there. And then there's uh, some sort of belt thing right here that I painted. Well, it's... Um, E tape and then painted that up. Uh, we have both her arms there that are painted the same color as her torso, the same the legs, and then the fabric coat that she's wearing is all um, this black color. And it's kind of hard to figure out what to do with the sides here, but I just decided to cut another piece of fabric out and then glue that on, and that helped achieve that look there. Yeah, she's really just a simple figure. Um, her accessory is just a standard Lego pistol because I didn't want to go ahead and make her a gun because it kind of ran out of time, so most of the figures don't have the best accessories. But um, yeah, so now on to the next figure. Alright, so next up we have Poe Dameron, and uh, yeah, so quick 360 here, starting off with the jacket, and I guess the face. The face is logo face, and same with the hair. Um, now onto the jacket. The jacket is just this um, I cut out fabric in the shape of a jacket, obviously, and pa um, painted it brown, added the e tape pockets on either side and yeah um, his arms are just painted the same color brown and then I have the uh, let me just this a little bit forward uh, closer I guess and focus it I have the resistance logo there and that was really hard to paint and really small but I think I nailed it backing up the figure and uh, refocusing it alright so now back to the figure and the torso um, the torso is just this it's a tan torso with some skin showing at the top, and then I paint on the lines for the collar area, and then just the line where the fabric separates going down. Um, he has a belt that's brown there with the silver uh, buckle thing in the middle, and then he has tan pants, and then black, glossy black boots. Um, his accessory is just this regular Lego blaster that I modified a little bit, not too much, but enough to kind of resemble his blaster. And yeah, I think that's really it for Poe Dameron. So now on to the next figure. All right, so next up we have Ray in her resistance outfit. Um, yeah, you guys have already seen this figure before, and I don't think I made any changes. There may have been slight changes made, like fixing up paint and stuff. But uh, yeah, let's start off with their accessories. So the first one's the one that I made. Ray's staff here. Um, I sculpted all of this. I think it was over a toothpick, and then I added her strap here and. Yeah, um, the next one is Ray's Blaster. This one I think is from Brick Arms or GI Brick, one of the two. I ordered it from one of the two of the sites, and I think it was made by the other one. So, yeah, it might have been through GI Brick and it's a Brick Arms gun, but yeah. Um, now onto the figure itself. You guys have already seen her before. She's really simple. Not really simple, I mean, really complicated, but um, yeah, I'm just going to go over it real quick. So the head is just the Lego face with, I think I painted the hair, and then the jacket's made out of fabric, I um, then painted the lines up at the top there, there's a line going across the middle of the jacket, I think it stops on the side, yeah it does. And then she has her sleeves that I painted on, and like the little gauntlet thing that she has for the lower part of the sleeves. Um, there's a strap here, which is her bag that she has here, and that was all sculpted in fabric work. And what else? Um, her pants there, they're just tan. Some sort of like uh, 
dark tan color, and then I have her strap there, or gun holster. I'll just move the, try to move the arm out of the way. It's kind of hard to move it when there's a fabric jacket on. There you guys can see that. And then I painted on the boots there too, and then you guys can see the skin tone. And yeah, that's really it for her. So um, yeah, now into the next figure. All right, so next up here we have Finn in his first row officer outfit. Um, starting off with the cap here, let's just remove that. I'll show you guys this after I focus it. Um, yeah, so here I painted this just uh, like pavement color there. Then I painted the insignia, the logo right there, the first row logo. It's a little bit, uh, it's really hard to paint actually. And then I couldn't fit the lines in the center, but I think I nailed the rest of it. And the cap of it's painted glossy black. Um, yeah, so now on to Finn himself. Uh, I'll give him his hairpiece so you guys don't have to look at a bald minifigure here. And I'll take off the Lego Blaster because it's the Lego Blaster, nothing important there. Well, special there. Um, yeah. Let's move him over so he's in the center. Uh, yeah, so I used fabric, fabric, sorry, E tape for the entire uh, tunic there, and then for the belt too, and then also for that middle piece. Actually, that might have been sculpted, but still. Anyway, um, then the pockets there are E tape, same with, actually, those bits right there are sculpted. Then I painted on the black lines there. I made sure to separate the e-tape here so he has that crease. Or that separation in his tunic. Uh, yeah, this is all in like a pavement color, like his hat. And then the arm here is... Uh, this is the only arm with that, any bit of detail. It's just a metallic band there. And then, yeah, the belt continues all the way around. Same with the tunic. And then his pants are pavement with some glossy black boots. And that's really it for Finn. Alright, so next up here we have General Hux, and I'm just going to start off with the head and hair here. I um, painted it up in Obi-Wan Kenobi hairpiece to be, yeah, this different shade of ginger here, and then I painted, I believe this was a resistance soldier's face that I painted with uh, just the eyebrows. I painted those the same ginger color, kind of, and then, uh, yeah, so he has this fabric coat here, which is kind of big and in the way, and then uh, his, his arms are just these black arms here, his pistol. Uh, this one on the other side, though, has these two bands with a gray stripe on the side, and then he has the first order insignia there. I should have ordered the Lego figure, because that would have been easier for the ins insignia, but... Um, anyhow, now onto the, I guess, underneath the coat there. He has his tunic, same as Finn, basically. Same line down the middle, um, same belt and uh, silver like buckle piece. And then his pants are, I think, a like regular black color and then he has glossy black boots and uh, yeah it's really for him. I didn't really have reference for the back of his coat but I assume it's not really filled with detail and uh, yeah so now on to the next figure <clears throat> alright so next up here we have Kylo Ren and uh, I would start off by removing the accessory here this is just his lightsaber um, not really anything too special I kinda like sculpted a bit in the middle and cut up like some lightsaber blades there and put them on the side but yeah, that's really it for his lightsaber. Anyway, now onto the figure itself. I used the Lego face and hair. I don't think I could have painted up the hair piece. I can't really tell. I don't think I did it. And then his face, all I did was add his scar, and then he has the black tape there. I actually sculpted that, so I got the texture, but you guys can't really tell on camera. Right, next up, he has uh, this black cape here. Just cut that out with fabric and then put that on the figure. Um, and then he has his arms. I tried to get the effect of like his arm, his sleeves there, but by like roughly painting it and you guys can kind of, kind of tell by the lighting there that he has that. And then onto his, I guess the fabric tunic here. It's all fabric and I did that to try to get the effect of his outfit. I know some other people painted it. And then yeah, he has the black belt there with the silver bit in the middle. And then uh, I actually sculpted the uh, borders of this year and painted that a pavement color, I think, so it stands out because it's kind of like that in the movie. Anyway, um, next up, his pa his legs are just a uh, regular like black color, I think, or they might be pavement. I think they're black, and then painted those the boots that are glossy black, and um, that's really it for him. So now on to Supreme Leader Snook. Alright, so lastly here we have Supreme Leader Snoke, and this figure was 100% made by me. None of this is Lego. Well, it's Lego parts, but none of this was done by Lego or some 
other party and third party. Anyway, starting off with the head there, I sculpted the entire thing or carved it out. I actually got the idea from Lego Mac 9. I removed the setup there and I uh, then sculpted over it. And yeah, so I carved out this chunk here because that's kind of like the shape of his face and I painted that uh, up a darker skin tone color there. Or actually, some sort of like caramel color. And then I uh, carved out his cheek there too because that's how he is. And I painted, that, painted up that same color. And then I have some lines underneath his eyes um, up there on the forehead. And his eyebrow, actually the lines above his eyebrows and his eyebrows, which you guys can't really see, but they're gray. Um, then I carved out a scar on the top and painted up that so it looks, you know, like a scar, obviously. Um, yeah, I actually carved out the eye sockets, too, and then painted those up with black and then blue there. And I painted on the mouth, too, and yeah, all in all, I really, really like that face. I think I nailed Snoke's face. And now on to... Uh, I guess the torso and the arms. The arms were just painted gold color, and then I used fabric to make his uh, outfit here, and then his robes, I guess. I painted the skin tone there on his torso, and then I painted on the gray. And then he has the, um, I guess, bronze belt there. It wraps all the way around, and then continues down with the strap there. Um, and yeah, I guess that's really it for all the figures. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed all these figures and the video. This is my first time making something like this where I make, you know, a whole bunch of figures for the release of the film. And I just, uh, yeah, hope you guys were satisfied with this and be looking forward to more of these in the future. I'm definitely doing a Wave 2 for The Last Jedi, or I'm planning on doing it. <laughs> Obviously, if something comes up, I probably could not be able to do it. But anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and hopefully do that, including Phasma and some other figures that I missed in this video. And yeah, if you guys were inspired by me to go ahead and make your own figures, or if, you know, if there's anything you want to comment about these figures, go go ahead and comment down below. Uh, give this video a like if you liked it. If you disliked it, dislike it, I guess. But anyhow, just leave your feedback on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And yeah, I think that's really it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to edit this video real quick and get it released before I see the movie. But if not, then this will go right when I get back. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and... Go see The Last Jedi now. Hope you guys enjoyed, and try to avoid spoilers, and may the Force be with you. Bye.